Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 30-minute strength and cardio, full body, giant set workout. That was a tongue twister. All right, what you're going to need today, dumbbells. Whatever you have, grab them. For reference, I have a pair of 10s and 15s, and you're also going to need a mat. I have a warm-up listed below because we're going to get right into this workout. You can always just lighten the weight for the first block as a warm-up as well. So here's today's format. We have giant sets. So we have four exercises at a time. We're going to perform each exercise for one minute each. So we have four minutes of total work time. After that four minutes is up, we'll have a 30 second recovery before moving on to a new set of exercises. The first exercise will be lower body focused. The second exercise will be upper body focused. The third exercise will be a combo of upper and lower, kind of like what we just did for exercises one and two. And then the fourth exercise is going to be cardio based. After that cardio based exercise, we should need a 30 second recovery. So then we'll set the dumbbells down rest and then we're on to a new set of exercises non-repeat today every exercise is time so you and i do not have to go at the same speed also this is one exercise into the next into the next so you can always just take your sweet time getting set up into the upcoming exercise all right don't let the panic set in i just want you to start to transition into that new exercise all right so since there is no transition time in between some of the exercises here's how your screen's gonna look up in this upper hand corner with about 15 seconds to go you're gonna see the upcoming exercise once you hear that ding we've moved on up in this corner is going to be the current block that we're on so I'm gonna list all four exercises at a time and then down in this corner is going to be our timer as you can tell my voice sounds a little funny today I'm coming off some sort of sinus in thing. It doesn't feel very good for me to talk, so I'm going to limit cues today. I'll be transitioning you into the exercise, all right? So this one is tough. It is fun. We have seven blocks today. The first five upper lower focus, the final two core focused, all right? Grab all your stuff. Definitely something for hydration, and let's get to work. All right, y'all, so these are our four exercises we're gonna begin with. I'm gonna be using whatever dumbbell I have to start the giant set. That's what I'm gonna try to end with. If needed, I can always drop it, and so can you. You can always drop the weight selection. All right, so we're gonna start with squats. You can always start conservative with the weight selection since this is your first block, all right? So I'm going to grab dumbbells right below pelvis region, slight external rotation of the hips for right now. And I'm just taking it slow and controlled, setting the hips back, hinging from the knees, driving it up, feeling the glutes drive me up, all right? So we have glutes, quads, hams, getting some action here, slow and steady to begin. Honor your range, range of motion, everyone's gonna look different. We begin, squats, make it slow, make it good. We go in three, two, and one, let's go. I don't really want to win it. Don't have any plans for it. If you got a glass, fill it. Cause I need it now. Money is in it. I don't want to think about it. So if you know the song, sing it. Cause I need it now. Take me to a place where the music's loud. I don't want to play right now. Passion, lights running through. Next up, we have an Arnold press. We'll do it in a standing position. Last three, two, and one. Start with the hands facing you. Rotate as you press it up. Keep those traps down as we press up. Core stays tight. Thrusters is next. One more rep. Last three, 
to neutral grip above the shoulders. Take it down in your squat. Use the lower body to drive it up. Bring it down. So lower body drives it up. Bring it down, and then we do it again. Last three, two, one, set those dumbbells down. We have a squat to reach. So we're here, up on the calves. If you wanna amp this up, feel free to take it to a jump squat. This is feeling good for me. Last three, two, and one. 30 seconds to recover. We have a new block coming up. Hip hinge. It's gonna be the name of the game in a row. So RDL, neutral grip row, RDL to pronated row, and then some hip hinge swings for cardio. Grab a drink, 15 seconds, and we go. RDLs are first, glute and ham focused. Core stays tight to help stabilize the spine. Just take it back. Once the hips stop moving, you stop moving, and then bring it back up. Next up, we have a neutral grip row. So take it to that hip hinge position, palms face in, core stays tight. Drive those dumbbells towards the back of the hip, feel the engagement in the lats, then bring it down. Next up, we're gonna combine it, RDL, this time to a pronated row. Elbows will flare out to the side. And three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and start from the top. So we bring it down. Palms are in a pronated position. Elbows flare out, upper back. And then, whoo, drive it up.
Next up, we're going to release one dumbbell. We have a dumbbell hip hinge swing. In three, two, and one. One dumbbell goes down. So you're just grabbing a hold of one. Same hip hinge motion. Get the glutes to drive you up. So lower, this is a lower body exercise. Glutes bring you up, hip hinge. And one, wow, 30 second recovery. This next one, I'm gonna switch for 10 pounds. We have some lunge variations and a pull up and lateral raise. This next block, you're moving the left leg, right leg will stay still. Here we go, we have a curtsy lunge. Bring it up, kickstand, B stance. So slight angle with that curtsy lunge, 80-20, 80% in the heel, 20 in the toes, bring it down. So your right leg, your right leg, is going to be feeling most of the work. Last three, two, Poliquin lateral raise, so neutral grip, hammer curl, elbows out, extend, control, hammer curl, elbows out, extend, control, buys and delts. All right, our next exercise is a reverse lunge. Uh, pulse for three and then curl for one. Same leg's gonna work, all right? So your right leg's still gonna feel it. Left leg is gonna be moving. Take it back for three, two, one. Curl it up. Three, two, one, and curl. Rotate from neutral to supinated on that concentric phase. Next up, we'll set these dumbbells down. We have a reverse lunge to squat. Right leg still gonna be taking it. All right, let's set it down. I'm gonna give you a different view. So same side still working. Reverse lunge, knee in, squat, knee in. You can always modify by tapping the toe and then to advance, you can add that little twist.
Last three, two, and one. 30 second recovery. Lower body is gonna stay the same. We're just gonna change the upper body on the next block. So we have that curtsy lunge to B stance, other side. Left leg grounds this block, so slight angle, B stance, hinge it back. Curtsy lunge, 80-20, and then just control it. Next up, we have a four-way lateral raise. Let's get set, just standing position. Bring it out to the side, one in front, two back to the side, three and lower, four. Next up, we have re reverse lunge to a front raise. We're gonna pulse for three, raise on that fourth rep. Same side, so left side still gonna ground. Bring it back, pulse, three, two, one, control it, front raise, good. Three, two, one, drive it up, control, control it down. Lunge me in, squat me in, dumbbells go down, same side is working. All right, let's do it. Reverse lunge, knee in, squat, knee in. To modify, you're just tapping in between. Last three, two, and one. Next block, we get to lie down on our mat. We start with a chest press, semi-pronated grip. Right now we get to recover. I'm gonna be using my 15 for this block. We start with a chest press, semi-pronated grip. Get on your mat. 
we go in three, two, and one. Next up, we have bridges. We're gonna pulse at the top, set one of those dumbbells down, unless you can balance two, and three, two, and one. So feel the glutes drive you up, and then get that extra drive right there. So bridge, tricep extensions, hold it, extend the arms overhead, grab a hold of that dumbbell. Now hinge from the elbows, dumbbell goes right behind the head, really control it, right by that precious noggin, and then extend up. So feel a big stretch along the triceps as you control it down, and then extend up. and flip it on your stomach, body weight swimmers. Control this, you're gonna feel it in your glutes, you're gonna feel it in your upper back, you're gonna feel it just about everywhere. For the last 30 seconds, switch it to a neutral grip, so lead with the thumbs. One. Okay, our final two blocks, forget everything I said about in the warm up. The format's staying the same, but now it's all about the core. So we're gonna start in a side plank position, reach unders, we'll do one side and then the other. So it doesn't matter what side you start. So go ahead, get set up, extend the arm, we reach it under and then reach it back up. Couple options, you can do a split stance. You can also release that bottom knee. You want it to make it more challenging, you can extend the top leg. I'm gonna keep mine down. We 
we go to the other side, you can either just take it to a four iron plank and then switch sides, or you can flip it around so I can see you and you can see me. Let's get it. Same, same exercise, different side. We come to a high plank position on the hands. Atomic Mountain Climbers. It's a mountain climber with a twist, literally. All right, come to the hands. Get in that high plank. Now we drive left knee to right elbow, a little twist underneath. Bring it back, other side, bring it back. You can do this really slow and controlled, or you can pick up the tempo, it's up to you. We do have a cardio exercise after this, so I'm gonna take it slow and controlled. Really squeeze here. we have a step or jump back plank to a squat so let's go I'll show you the jump version so we can jump it to a squat hands go down jump it back plank jump it in squat or you can step it back step it in bring it up now if this is too much on your range of motion if you're struggling to touch the ground that's okay you may just want to um, use a bench to decrease that angle Last three, two, and one. Wow, we are on to our final block, and it is all about the anterior core muscles. TVA, transverse abdominal, and your rectus. I'm gonna use a 15 pound dumbbell. I think, <laughs> I may need to change it out. We will see. We start with a lat raise crunch. So let's go ahead and get on the ground. Big deep inhale as we exhale. Feel the lower abs start to firm up. Then we're gonna initiate from the top and then add the upper abs. Keep the rib cage down. Don't let it flare out. Even as we extend behind. Make sure that neck doesn't move very much. So you initiate and control from the abs. The neck is along for the ride. You don't have to go, I can set you free. Are you gonna make a move? Are you gonna come and see? Whatever you wanna do, you know what's cool with me. Whisper in the dark, whispers in the dark. You come to play. Next up, we're gonna hit lower abs. We'll use the weight as a little lever. So keep that weight behind you. Now inhale down, exhale, bottom to top, firm up the lower abs, and then we're bringing the knees in. Control, control it down. Try to keep that low back pressing into the mat. 
This isn't fancy, but this is as challenging as you want to make it. Feel the engagement. Start from the inside. We add both upper and lower in three, two, and one. Just combine it. Whisper in the dark. Last exercise, we release the dumbbell. We hold an iso crunch and add lower in three, two, set that dumbbell down. All right, hands go behind the head. If we can, we're gonna hold that iso crunch, extend the legs up, we bring it down for an iso crunch leg lift. If needed, you can modify by bringing the head down. You can also just do one leg at a time. In 10 seconds, we're gonna hold the bottom and end with some flutter kicks. We go in three, two, and one. We're making this a rest paw set. Oh my goodness, 30 seconds here. If need to come out of it, wow, rest, and then get right back into it. Last three, two, and wow, one. <laughs> okay, hold on, one second. My glasses are fogged, okay. When you're ready, let's slowly roll over onto the belly. Come to the forearms for a little cobra stretch. Heart reaches forward, start to press the mat away. Wow. <laughs> and I already feel an intense stretch. All right, if you wanna take it one step farther, Come to the hands and very slowly start to extend it up. Big deep inhale here. As we exhale, curl the toes, send it back to downward facing dog. So let's do this up dog to down dog um, little mobility routine for about three rounds at your own pace. And last round. We'll look up at the hands, come to a quadruped or tabletop position. Nice, walk the hands in, right foot goes out in front. Keep a neutral low back and then take, and then start to hinge it a little bit more. Keep the left glute active and then take that left arm up and over. Really targeting the front of the left hip flexor, maybe into the quad. 
right now really just honing in on that hip flexor and then when you're ready you can start to hinge it a little bit more release that hand down taking it into the quad a little bit more start to heel toe that right foot out to the side and then if it feels good come into a little modified lizard opening up Undo the twist, let's slowly come up and take it to the other side. Ooh, left foot goes out in front. Neutral low back, start to hinge it. Good, squeeze that right glute. Oh, feel it in the right hip flexor, take the right arm up and over. And take it down. Let's start to come more into that right quad. Then if you want to take it one step farther, take the hand to the inside of the left foot and then slowly rotate that left foot, left hip open, coming into a little modified lizard. And left shoulder foot comes on the ground, come back up. Let's hit the lat. So keep the hips stacked over the knees, start to walk the hands out, and then feel a nice little lat stretch. Walk the hands in, meet me in an easy seat. We're gonna end with a little whew, side body stretch. So come up, inhale, as we exhale, take one arm up and over. Oh, that feels good. Inhale up, other side. Now same thing, but let's add a little tricep stretch. Inhale up, exhale, bend, side bend, and bend the elbow. And other side, inhale, and exhale, switch. Inhale up, little back bend by looking up at the hands, and then exhale, Ooh, open up the chest. Y'all, nice work today. Uh, sorry about my voice. It sounds very, I don't know what you'd want to call it, voluptuous. Uh, thank you so much for your love and support. I'm starting to ramble. This is why I don't talk so much. Um, your love and support means the world. So like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Fit by Laurie. Um, Instagram at Laurie Midkiff. Tag me in your posts and stories. Let me know how you like this workout in the comment below and have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.